I know I had some nightmares because um, I had to watch The Walking Dead to get up before I started filming. And um, I went a lot to watch zombies as a child, so had some nightmares, but uh, turned into a good dream after I got done filming. I play Luther. I am the I'm the friendly, mean person, if that makes sense. It was it's, it's new for me. I'm a country, I'm Ohio, Akron, Ohio, small town guy, so uh, it was a bit of a culture shock, but I'm, I'm glad I came. Uh, the food is amazing. And people are nicer than, they, than people think. People are very nice in New York. Don't, don't believe it, it's a lie. I think the first time I seen Jeffrey Dean, because my father's like, a, he's his favorite actor ever. So seeing him and uh, getting a compliment from him on my acting was like, my, it, 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 meant a lot. It, was, it was very validating for me, for sure. Well, I play Nina, um, and I'm, um, you know, honestly, I feel like this is this is such a big undertaking, putting Dead City, or like putting Walking Dead in New York City, and so I feel like with my character, there's a, there's a bit of mystery in there, too, of like where she's going to go, so I'm hoping to find that out, too, and watch with everybody, but what, can, what I can say is I really loved working with Lauren and Jeffrey, and, um, and with uh, Mahina, um, and I spent a lot of time with Mahina, and I feel like my character really cares for her character. I mean, New York City is a character, so I feel like it's a playground for a writer and for uh, filmmaking and whatnot. So I, I'm excited to see how that turned out, and I haven't seen it yet. So, like, uh, yeah, it's very, very exciting that um, it's, it took on the city. It's, like, daunting, but I feel like Eli's a genius. So. Super cool. Hano is this, this young guy who's trying to make his way in the world um, and encounters some very dangerous characters, not only just zombies, but dangerous people out there as well. Um, I'm excited to... To, for you guys to see how his journey unfolds. Twists and turns everywhere, big things. I mean, like, the, the point was to make everything big, bring it into Manhattan, and use the coolest places of Manhattan. Filming in New York City was the coolest thing. Making Wall Street apocalyptic was the coolest thing ever. I loved it. Uh, so on this series, I play a character called the Croat, who's sort of, whose history is folded in into the original uh, episode with Jeffrey Dean Morgan and the Negan character. He sort of comes back around to, to haunt him a bit and trying to get the old gang back together. And it's a sort of amazing character and an amazing continuation of the Maggie Negan story. I think what's cool is that, is that you, you're starting with characters that they know and love with Negan and, and, and Maggie uh, and bringing them into the whole new world. You know, we're in Manhattan, we're in an urban setting. They have a reason for working together, that something's pushed them together when there's so much history to tear them apart. So I think seeing how they navigate this new relationship between each other and this new world is going to be the cool thing. Loved it. I mean, we were like in some in, in uh, New Jersey, some in New York City. This is home, so I love being here. Um, and it's just a whole different added character to the, to the show to see what this world is like in an urban world and how people survive and how they're trying to cope with what's going on. So I, I think it'll be a nice new twist. Yeah, so I play Armstrong and I'm a new Babylon Marshal. And I'm the guy, or one of the guys, who's out to get Negan. And so we get to see me chase Negan into New York and see what happens after that. I think they can expect everything they know and love about The Walking Dead meets an apocalyptic New York. So it's going to be the scale and the size of New York, zombies everywhere. It's a lot of fun. Well, we shot both in New York and New Jersey. Um, I'm from New Jersey, so that was really cool. Got to sort of go to some of my favorite spots, diners, all that kind of stuff. Um, but it was just great. It was just great to be here. Ooh, yes. The first time when I killed my first zombie on, in the pilot. And that's when I felt like, okay, I'm here. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, yeah, I played Tommaso. Uh, he has uh, been, he grew up in New York City. And he was there when it broke out. Uh, and his relation to, I guess, Maggie uh, getting to her son is that he knows the Croat. He uh, was with him, he's been involved with him, uh, and so he knows the ins and outs of how to get around Madison Square Garden. I feel like there's, I mean, I haven't seen the whole, the whole series yet, but just reading off the episodes that I've read, um, I think there's gonna be some new things that they see. It's a little exciting. I also saw a, uh, a preview where the walkers were moving much faster uh, than I've seen in other seasons. So that's exciting too. Um, I think they're going to see a lot of relationships, a lot of different relationships. Uh, there's a lot of stories intertwined throughout. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see it myself. Before I got uh, on set, reading the comics. That was super exciting. I remember like 
reading it in my apartment and um, kind of just like audibly reacting to what was going on in the um, in the in the comics. Uh, and then just on set is just it's great to be on set, meeting Jeffrey and Lauren, um, working with Karina, Eli, everyone. I mean the whole thing. It's hard to say one moment. Yeah. Um, so Amaya is a Dominican survivor from New York City, um, which I am very proud to represent. I thought it was very important for her to be Dominican. I wanted to rock the natural curly hair, um, but she she's a bad. She's a survivor. Um, she had to become a leader under the circumstances of some crazy stuff that went down, obviously. Um, and I, I feel really connected to her. She, she really steps up, you know, for her people. And um, I can't wait till you guys meet her. The Walking Dead with that little New York twist, you know. Um, obviously, so much has happened after the last season and I know when I watched the series I was always like well what's going on in New York what's going on in New York because um, it must have been crazy over there with so many people and that's the difference it's it's the environment it's the people and um, yeah I think that that's basically it super excited same role same guy uh, Negan I think this, this takes place a couple years after we last saw him in Walking Dead where he walks off into the sunset with his wife and child, presumably, and, and we'll find out very quickly why he's on his own here in this one. Um, but same character, same guy. Uh, a lot less series regulars. Um, you know, I, I think the, the Walking Dead, the last couple of years, we had 20, 25 uh, regulars, and so trying to service all those storylines is hard to do. Um, and here you've got you know me and Lauren and, and a couple other people, but it's really a, a limited number of people in New York City. And I think that's the big difference with this show. It's the New York City of it all. It was awesome. It was hard, um, but it's good to be home. I live here, so that helps. Um, it's you can't shoot, you can't close down New York City to zombify it to make it look like the apocalypse very often so a lot of night shoots and then we'd shoot also in New Jersey um, but it's lovely to be here and it's the reason that I one of the big reasons I came back and thought I could continue was just the chance to be home after you know eight years away from my family it was important to get back so I'm still Maggie in this spin-off <laughs> um, and uh, Jeff and I, Negan and Maggie are off in New York City because my son's been kidnapped and we have to go and retrieve him from a terrible person. So that's, that's what this is but it's about five, six years on at least and sort of this exploration of um, living in this world and surviving in this world and holding on to what you've got left and trying to... Um, Maybe have new allies, see if it works. I think they can expect a slightly different tone. You know, we've got a smaller group of people. We're in a very different landscape. Um, emotionally, there's definitely some sort of, some walls and some prisons that have sort of come up for Maggie and for other characters that are gonna be really interesting to explore and to experience. They definitely were for us to do. And we're in New York City. We're just like, we're in a totally different place that's, You've seen two very capable people, even though they were at odds with each other, and now you see them in a place that they are so much more at odds with. So it's scary, and it's exciting, and it's fun, and it's um, still got zombies.